Hello, and welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up SAML single sign on SSO for your ASP.NET Core applications using Microsoft Entra ID as IDP. To start with, we will first install the ASP.NET SAML NuGet package in your Visual Studio project. Open your ASP.NET Core application in Visual Studio, right click in the Solution Explorer, and select Manage NuGet Packages. Search for the Mini Orange SAML SSO extension and install this extension. Next, integrate the Mini Orange ASP.NET SAML SSO middleware by adding the required namespaces, services, and middleware to your project. You can find these details from the setup guide link added in the video description. After adding the required services and middleware, build and run your application. Now in your browser navigate to the URL displayed on the screen. If the registration page appears, you've successfully added the Mini Orange ASP.NET Core SAML plugin. You would be required to register in the plugin as an administrator to manage the SAML configuration for your application. After successful registration you will receive a license key on your registration email to activate your account. Enter this license key and click on the Activate License button. For the SAML protocol, it is necessary to first establish trust between the .NET application and Entra ID by exchanging the service provider and identity provider metadata. Let's start with sharing the service provider metadata. To do this you would be required to go to the Service Provider Settings tab. Here you will find the required SAML service provider metadata details that needs to be provided to your IDP, Entra ID in this case. You can send the service provider metadata to identity provider using different formats such as metadata URL or using metadata file. Let's download the metadata file, which will be needed in the subsequent steps. Next step is to configure Microsoft Entra ID as IDP. For this, log in to your Microsoft Entra ID portal. Click on the Microsoft Entra ID option. Then select Enterprise Applications from the menu, and click New Application. Choose Create Your Own Application, name your app, and select the Non-Gallery Application section. After creating your app, go to the Setup Single Sign-On option, select SAML as the method. Now we need to upload the ASP.NET Core SAML metadata to Microsoft Entra ID. For this click on the Upload Metadata file and upload ASP.NET Core Plugins metadata that we downloaded earlier. You can see that the Entity ID and Reply URL, or ACS URL, are populated here successfully. Now click on Save. The next step would be to get Entra ID's metadata and share it with the ASP.NET SAML Service Provider. To get the Entra ID's metadata, scroll down to SAML Certification tab and download the Federation Metadata XML file. We will require this file for the .NET application further in the video. Now let's assign some users to your SAML application who can perform the SSO. To do this go to the Users and Groups tab. Click on Add User or Group. Under Users select None selected. Then search for your user and click on Assign. The next step would be to configure the Entra ID metadata in the ASP.NET application. Go to the Identity Provider Settings tab, click on Add New IDP and select Microsoft Entra ID as Identity Provider. Click on Upload IDP Metadata button. Here you will find two options to upload IDP metadata. You can upload metadata by uploading metadata file or entering metadata URL. In our scenario let's upload metadata file which we downloaded from Entra ID. Click on Upload button. After successful upload you can see that the IDP metadata has been populated here successfully. To verify SSO configurations hover on Select Actions drop down against your IDP application and click on Test Configurations. A window will appear prompting you to enter your Entra ID login credential. Enter your Microsoft Entra ID user credentials and click on Next. After successful authentication a test successful window will appear showing user attributes such as name ID, email, tenant ID and others. The next step here would be to map only the required attributes from the SAML response to your .NET application. Now from the Select Actions drop-down click on Edit Configurations. Navigate to the Attribute slash Role Mapping tab. Here you can map .NET username, email and other attributes to what we have received from Entra ID. Please make sure that are mapping the exact same attributes otherwise SSO would not work as per your expectation. We are mapping username and email attribute with the name ID attribute received from Entra ID. After successful attribute mapping click on Save Attribute Mapping button to retrieve the end user SSO details in your application in form of user claims. Copy the integration code as provided in the integration tab in your application. We have added this integration code steps in our setup guide you can refer this from setup guide also. 
In our case we are pasting this integration code in the layout.cshtml file. Now let's jump on how to initiate the SSO login. From the identity provider setting click on the select action dropdown to get the SSO link of your IDP. Copy this SSO link. You can use this link in your application and make a button or page, in our case we have created a button out of this link. Let's now check on how the actual end user experience would look like. Click on the login with Entra ID button. Log in with your Entra ID credentials. After successful user authentication you can see that user will be sent to ASP.NET application, and will be logged in via single sign-on SSO. By following these steps, you will successfully set up SAML single sign-on SSO, for your ASP.NET Core application using Microsoft Entra ID as identity provider. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions please feel free to contact us at ASP.NET support at securify.com.